So last time in Breath of Fire 3, we grinded out a bunch of money because we got our butt kicked. Because our gear was not good enough. Um, we still need about 11k more zenny. We were trying to farm these gold eggs, so that's gonna be the first thing. I'm just gonna go back to the factory and get the rest of the money we need. Oh, really striking ram? That's that's kind of cool though. That that technology is still in use. I love technology. Well, I love and hate technology. I'm sure we all feel that way sometimes. I'm just gonna melee this guy for no reason while I move my microphone. Hey, easy three, how you doing? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Fiber. Oh yeah! I also might want to go talk to the masters of our characters before we go back to that other dungeon because we have gained several levels and I find it very likely that we've learned at least one skill for someone. They're gonna put it in, but the stay-at-home orders went out two days before the appointment. Yeah! I'm glad they're finally able to, to come turn that on for you and get everything hooked up. I found out today, I believe Washington's opening back up on the 1st of June? Did... <laughs> Mike, did you really add a quote about me accidentally almost burning down our boat by cooking steak? Hi. It's a bird. It's a bird. And well, we're um we're looking not anytime super soon, Aslan, but we have been looking into housing stuff. We're kind of window shopping right now. Hoping to maybe buy a house sometime next year. Oh, do they not let you uh, have your own? Do they not let you have your own modem, Vinius? Or is it just the one they provided like by default? A bird and a cat. I have all of them. Also, we'll get him a treat too. Oh, no, it's okay, my Nori. Oh, oh, you're from Tina Stream. Nice, that's awesome. Thank you. Welcome back, Easy. You were doing some leveling on BOF3 the other day and fell asleep. Apparently, you kept hitting the button though as you woke up to the title screen like you got a game over. Oh, no! Oh, no, and you lost a couple of levels. Oh, that sucks, Dragon Skull. I'm sorry. We might, we, depending on what we decide to do, Aslan, because we have a couple of options. We could buy or build a house and then sell the RV. Or if we bought like land or something to build a yurt on it, then we'd probably keep the RV, at least till we have everything built up. It probably depends on the situation. I think inevitably we would probably sell the RV. Just because um, we wouldn't really need it anymore after a certain point. <laughs> also, while this is going on, Ollie gets free. Ollie, do you want a nut? Give me treat, human. Oh, they actually make a bunch of different sizes of yurts, Belthazar. It's pretty rad, and you can attach multiple yurts. So, like, you can have a, a 30 foot attached to two tens or a 20 or whatever you want. Kind of like a yurt colony. <laughs> and yeah, 
yeah, like we have definitely loved living in the Choco Bun. Don't mind me, I'm just fighting this in the background while Ollie eats this, because we're just grinding for money anyway. Um, yeah, we've loved living in the Choco Bus. We've been in it for about three years now. We do miss having space. So we're both pretty excited about the aspect of having more space and not having to move somewhere else every three weeks. <laughs> so the Choco Bus will be a Chocobo rant? <laughs> Perhaps. Batman indeed. Hi Asaha, how you doing? Na 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 Batman! Sadly no golden eggs yet, but we'll probably be fine to get there without one anyway. Google Mansion. Oh yeah, if we decide to do um your stuff, if we go that route, we'll definitely take pictures. I mean I imagine that whatever Whatever living structure we end up with, we'll probably take pictures of. But we're kind of looking at just sort of the general idea of what kind of house we would want and what size and what we're willing to compromise on and what we're not. Like, we want to have hopefully a three bedroom so that there's enough space for us to maybe convert like a dining room or a den into Angry Trees' office, for me to have one of the bedrooms as an office, a bedroom for us, obviously, and then to have a guest bedroom. It'd also be nice to have at least one and a half baths, but that really depends on what kind of house we find. Hi, Red Biscuit, how you doing? You watched my 2019 moments on YouTube and it killed you. Well, I am sorry that you're a ghost now. <laughs> but I'm glad you enjoyed the video. There's plenty more where that came from in 2020. Can't haunt. It wasn't before. Yeah, there's a lot of different possibilities. No, oh, thank you, Aslan. I really appreciate it. Yeah, right now we're in the phase of sort of window shopping while saving up money. Which, it turns out 2020 um, is probably a good year to do that anyway. <laughs> There's no buffoon me. Okay, I egg now. I am egg! Egg! Oh, also, I forgot that these guys, I should use Island. Hi, Nelso. Hi, Say Soaring. Hey, Glenn. How you guys doing? What's my college be? I mean, our house will hopefully have windows. I'm gonna be a little scared if our house doesn't have windows. Yeah, we were, I was planning on like going to SGDQ and TwitchCon and other things this year, but if I'm being completely honest, it is very, very likely that I am probably just going to stay at home this year. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna stay at home. Oh, Bazaar, thank you for gifting us Sunday Glint Pie. Welcome back, then. I hope you enjoy the emos. And you're doing pretty well, slowly upgrading your production setup and working on cable management. Nice! Oh yeah! Oh, we're definitely gonna be in the Pacific Northwest somewhere, Jason. We're... we like it up here. <laughs> we like it up here quite a bit. Oh nice, I forgot I don't have to use spoon because it was turned into an egg! It is going by fast. I don't know 
where the last five months have gone exactly. It's already halfway through May. We're slightly over halfway through May and I do not know what happened. I guess that's true. Like 600 hours of that did go into Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh, you got a new external hard drive. Oh, damn, 10 terabytes, nice. But we were actually just talking about hard drives earlier, Glenn, because I finally, finally, re well, not replaced, but I finally got an additional one on its way to be here next week. I finally just bought myself a one terabyte solid state. Oh, no, it's not variant on my shirt. This is Karn Reborn or whatever his extra title was. Next gathering. I went, uh, here, I'll show you. I went to Grand Prix and Vegas for Modern Masters. I won this shirt. Because I won one of the side events. <laughs> I don't know, apparently I'm decent at a card game. <laughs> hey, power cord. Am I enjoying coming back to Breath of Fire? I will be enjoying it um, if I discover that I can, in fact, kill things in the last dungeon this time. <laughs> I'm hoping so. <laughs> How are you today? I like Karn. <laughs> You're doing a uh, pretty good overall. Oh, thank you, Glenn. Yeah, I have a 500 solid state in my <laughs> computer right now that I'm running off of, but I've had just that one in my computer for over three years now. And I've always meant to upgrade it, and I just sort of never did. I just never bought myself another hard drive for no good reason. And I had to uninstall a bunch of stuff to install CFDs for last Saturday. And that's when it, I finally just snapped, and I was like, I've had it! I can't stand this anymore! I'm tired of uninstalling video games! And I just went, I'm going looking! Oh wait, your first playthrough of this game, you ended up situationally soft locking yourself by saving right after you ran out of items. That's that's not. Oh no. Wait, no, not my sword. I keep clicking on that one. Uh, I need ice blast. But okay. Hi, Bardo. How are you today, by the way? Oh, so that's fine. I'm not a smart RPG enthusiast, uh, even today. I spent four hours going through the desert of death by myself with no help other than the notes that I wrote down in my notepad for myself. I solved it, but I didn't bring any water, so, uh, I had to fight the boss with, like, a max HP of 20. I did it! I won that boss fight! It was awesome, but I definitely wasted resources. <laughs> it was not smart. I did it anyway. I got a one terabyte one, huh? I would have looked at bigger ones, but I think one terabyte will be plenty of space for me. We've had a long day power for but ready to settle in this cozy stream. Ooh, good to have ya. That's true, my notes were better than the game's notes, because at least my notes didn't lie to me. Hi Sanctus, how are you? But striking Ram, even though it may have taken you a while to realize death metal is your favorite kind of music, that means that things are looking up, right? Because you discovered it. And now, think about all of the music that you have to discover. 
doing well, Bardo? Just trying to relax after a long day of meetings and emails. You're not cut out for telecommuting. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it can, it can really suck. I'm sorry it's taking a toll on you. I hope you're able to get some rest in coming days. Maybe it won't be as, as bad, or I, I don't know what state you're in, Bardo, but maybe they'll open it up a bit more soon for you when things calm down. You're doing good, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. You're doing pretty well. We didn't think it's bad game. Just chilling, grinding out uh, a little bit of extra money here that we needed to round out buying gear for our party before we go into what I believe is the last dungeon of the game. decided yet if I want to upload it. Oh, I thought I heard a cat meow, but no, she's still passed out. Hey, Magitek Knight. Thanks for bringing folks over. How you doing? Welcome to Spoonies Grinding for Money and Breath of Fire 3! Oh, boy. This will be fine, I'm sure. Yay, Nina Dodge! Random side note, but I like the fact that they actually have them alongside avoiding this pillar. I'm glad they didn't just decide to make a character stand in the middle of the pillar. That would have looked very silly. <laughs> Thanks, Magitek. I actually, luckily, I finished most of the grind on Friday. You just were missing a little bit of money. Um. I think I'm only like two or three K away from being able to purchase the whole shopping list that I had. Well, some of the things I've already bought, but I I went out and I bought some more things and I wrote down that we still needed about 66 K more and we're at, I want to say 63 K. Yeah, quite close. <laughs> hey, Jack, Ross, Leonidas, Graft, so Hey, OJ, how you guys doing? He is an egg, so no breath. Doesn't matter. We've also been getting some levels. I wasn't even level 30 when we went into what I think is the last dungeon in the game, and, and now we are, so. Okay, we have 64k. It's going in. Getting there. And then the plan is to go into that dungeon and I don't know, see what happens. I went in there without buying like any of the equipment before and I think I was level 27 or 28 and I got kind of destroyed. I don't want to fight these guys. No. I don't want to fight. See, I tried to run away from the boss goblin because you guys 
You guys were telling me that I shouldn't fight a level five on Friday, and now look at now look at you. Yeah. Well, my initial thing that I wrote down was 147,000 chaos, and then yeah, I think I added another 20 or 40k on top of that for other optional items. It was it was a lot of money. <laughs> I was surprised how quickly we got it, though. The golden eggs were fairly nice to us on Friday. And then we also have uh, the Midas stone equipped, which is really helpful. So it only took a couple of hours to get most of it. Hey, Brian, the same. How are you? Fanny. Oh, you forgot about the golden eggs. Yeah, I ran into one while I was in this dungeon itself solving all the puzzles. So whenever I realized I needed a crap ton of money, I thought, well, this is close. I'll just come here and fight eggs. Plus he gives me an excuse to yell, hey! You're doing good, Brian. I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing well. I'm just asking. Sadly, we aren't having any luck finding any more of the golden eggs right now. rickety branch well to be fair trees are also very rickety it was saga it is extraordinary how are you today we'll take any egg excuse to make a good pun Even if the eggs aren't gold. You're not overly impressed. The yolks are back. Yeah, all of our characters are named a, a variant of Spoon. You can blame a Christor. <laughs> Yay, that missed. The <laughs> egg <-gregious. laughs> All right, we have 66,000. Let's go. Egg! We got it. Do you mean Bowser? Everyone keeps calling him Bowser. Are you leaving already? Yeah, we're going to the desert. Bah, 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 bah. That doesn't fit though. There's literally only like five characters. Breath of Fire 3 unfortunately does not give you very many letters to work with. Yeah, I wanna go to the Oasis. If an egg came from a possessed chicken, would it be a deviled egg? I don't know. Yeah, I I can like see it a little one, but I was like, I don't know. I'm gonna just call him Gar. Excuse me. What if I liked the desert, Nibelung? What if I wanted to say hi to the desert? The desert needs friends, too. The desert needs friends. And when we go back, you better say hi to the desert, okay? Everyone better say hello to the desert, because we're gonna go back there anyway. 
because even though it would have made more sense for me to come buy this equipment after I went and talked to all the masters, I'm doing it this way anyway. Because I want to spend the money. So I'm probably going to buy that as a backup thing in case it turns out something uses a lot of death tax. Yeah, this was the force armor stuff. I decided not to buy the sun mask for Gar because he has that thing that prevents him from getting blinded, which is really nice. equip that, but we'll see. I did not use an egg timer. <laughs> Hi, Rastra. Is Discord down? No, no. That's weird. It came back for me. I, I don't know. They might still be having intermittent issues. I found, I actually wrote down notes going about how to potentially find like two hidden items in the desert and I went looking for them for a while and then I gave up. Might as well get a full stack of vitamins. panaceas and stuff we can afford. The thing is, like, I'm keeping this voice armor for if I just really, really have to use it, but I also kind of want a glass cannon. Well, I guess I do have an extra titan belt. Good to know. I like desserts. I like chocolate cake. 
cake. Also, peanut butter and jelly sandwich sounds delicious. It was a JRPG kind of like version of Diablo you played on Game Boy Advance that had big guys that you could play as? I don't know. I don't think I ever had... You know what? I didn't actually add that many games for Game Boy Advance. I had a small handful. Yeah, I don't know. I actually kind of liked the desert. I didn't mind the desert. But maybe that's because I wrote down notes and get didn't get lied to by the notes in the tent. Hi, desert! Hi, desert. Bye, desert! Bye, desert. Hi, Johnny. How are you doing? I'm back! Yeah, I got stuff to do. I don't need to fill my canteen because I already saw the puzzle and I'm not going back in there for anything else. I would like to just escape entirely. I got stuff to do. I got people to talk to. I guess technically I could have just taken the teleport and I don't know why I didn't do that. Yeah, I should have just done that. <laughs> I forgot that there was a teleporter over there. So you know what? Better to remember now than after having walked all the way through the factory. I'm excited to play more. I want to see what the heck the end of the story is. I like the story of this game. Hi, desert! Bye, desert! I may not ever be back again. I don't know. We'll see. You know what I miss, Chaos? I miss when he used to hover over a link in Twitch and it would show like a little image because then I didn't have to minimize my game to look at links. I am sad that... I would have to have to minimize by the fire. Oh, I guess I should mark off that I bought. Oh, yeah, I bought all of the things. I bought all of the things that I needed. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's totally random. Sometimes it'll work, and then other times it just doesn't. I'm gonna go ahead and rest and save. Just out of paranoia because I did make the rest of that money and then buy all of the equipment we needed. You're really tired, Johnny. Oh, I'm glad I'm playing your favorite RPG. Well, hey, we're glad to have you. Hope you get some good rest. I think so, Orma? I'm not sure why it doesn't work most of the time now. So, yeah, there's actually a teleporter in here. Hey, Astral, how are you today? Hey, Dark One, welcome. Uh, this is actually my first time playing Breath of Fire 3. We're getting near what I think is probably the end of the game, but before we go back in there, I'm going to go talk to everybody's masters and see what skills we can get, because being prepared is probably smart. <laughs> also, if your audio is choppy, it's not my end. I can promise you that. <laughs> Okay, so, wait, no, we do want to go to, I think, this is Container Yard, or no, we came from Container Yard. I 
need to go to relay point. Hey, Eisenhart. Yep, I'm still playing Breath of Fire. Mostly because I got distracted when Animal Crossing came out, and then I got even more distracted when Final Fantasy VII Remake came out. Sweet 40 months. Carmen, thank you for resetting for 40 months. Welcome back, I appreciate it. How are you today? Wait, what is... It might cause a big ruckus if you go up there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, I guess we're just not allowed to go in the palace. That makes sense. That does actually make sense. They... Considering Nina wasn't supposed to leave to begin with, they might be a little upset if she came home. Thank you, Marsh. It's going pretty well today. Uh, we got the rest of the money for the equipment we needed. Now, I am going to make my way to the various masters for the characters we have. We're going to hopefully get some more skills. And then... Onward to what I think might be the last dungeon. Hey, Sleep Sloth, how are you? Wub, 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 wub. Mountain. I don't need any of these. You're doing pretty good. I'm glad you hear that sweet spot. I'm doing a little fashion. Just hanging out playing Breath of Fire. It may be the uh, last day we play it. For all I know. I, I don't know, man. If we beat it today, it will be. Oh, yeah, I love the overworld theme, too. It's really pretty. Mm, but I'm way higher level than you. I don't want to fight you. No point. Also, yes, I do still get distracted by Animal Crossing, but at the very least, oh my god, wait, where even am I? How did I like, go the wrong, I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> I don't recall, uh, I don't recall seeing any of this before. Oh no, your wallet's not happy, but you you need all oh, the Switch Pro controller. They are really good. I like mine a lot. Hi, Barry. I'm good. How are you today? Did you get your Shantoto? Did you get your Shantoto? Oh. Huh. Hey, I got 800 Zenny that I never got before, I guess. Oh, and, all right. I got going in a circle. Good Titan. Man, I haven't seen these kind of moms in a long time. Excuse me? Fine. I will attack you with the north. You just need something else to 
play with. You don't want to wear out your Joy-Con since you can't get new Animal Crossing colored ones if something happens. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you there. I should probably actually use my Pro Controller. I've been using the Animal Crossing Joy-Cons for a long time. You've been gotten your Shanto too. You nap for the last several hours. You can probably pick her up tomorrow or Friday. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, I'm sorry, Crucible's been having issues. I think somebody mentioned, like, there's like a tiny robot that uses one of the text-to-speech voices. <laughs> I think that must be the one I saw someone post about on Twitter that kind of looks like Wally. I'm not really, I don't know. Crucible's definitely not my kind of game, but I hope people are enjoying it. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to be playing Xenoblade Chronicles. Absolutely. Very yes. Big yes. I will be here on May 29th playing that game. You have a knockoff pro controller, but it's surprisingly comfy and has a good battery life. Well, that's good. I had heard that some of the other ones that were wireless were kind of squishy or like had weird connections sometimes, but I'm glad yours worked out. Yeah, I think they've been working on that game for quite a while, if I remember right, Barry. I want to say they showed it off at TwitchCon 2017 or something. Ollie says no, but Ollie, you weren't there, buddy. You weren't at TwitchCon. There were too many people there. Also, you've totally had one of those today. Hi, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. <laughs> hey, thanks for stopping by for a minute, man. I hope you had a good day. Okay. Excuse me. I got, I got stuff. Oh, I want, dude, I want the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 controller, but it's, like, impossible to find anymore. <laughs> I don't think I ever came back to look here. Oh, it's locked. Okay, never mind. Don't need to be here. <laughs> Wait, what mobile game? Was Crucible a mobile game before? So I'm confused. <laughs> oh, awesome. This is, yeah, here it is. This is the place I wanted. Found it on Canadian Amazon recently. Oh, man. Like, I, I think I've seen the Xenoblade one on US Amazon, but they wanted like $120 for it. And I just can't. Oh man, darn. Okay, I guess there's no more skill for Nina here. Bummer. We got several levels, so I was hoping so. I mean, you do you, Jacorius, but I actually like the Final Fantasy X or the PC. <laughs> it was convenient for me and it didn't feel buggy, so. Uh, as much as I prefer the original Final Fantasy IX text boxes and font and stuff, I actually didn't have that bad of a time with the Steam port. Um, I played 7 and 8 on Steam. Those are a little wonky in some places. Would would not play 5 or 6 on there personally. Wait, it has worse facial expressions? Really? I never beat Final Fantasy X on PS2. I think I got... Like, not even... I don't even think I made it to Xanarkin on PS2. You found it. Oh, it's priced at $166 and the other's $200. Dang. Okay, I forget where... I guess let's just go to Windia. 
I say and then immediately leave. <laughs> Yeah, I, man, I didn't realize that at all, that the face movements got affected. That kind of sucks. Also, hi, BG. How are you doing? Did you finish Vagrant Story? I couldn't watch you play it because I haven't played that one, but I saw you've been playing it for a while. You did? Oh, nice. I hope you liked it. I don't need to go that way. I need to go up this way to Bunyan. No, no, not here. I just get turned around this way. We go this way, and then we need to go up. Nope, that's the tree. No, nope, I'm wrong about everything. That's because this is a different mountain. There's two mountains like this, and that always confuses me. One of them, you are forced to enter to walk through, and the other one, you can just walk past. They look kind of similar from the outside. You like many aspects of it, and you'll leave it at that. Oh, no. <laughs> um, you know, I'm going to take that as uh, you and I will probably eventually have a conversation about Bagrin's story once I finally play it. <laughs> I'm glad you at least liked many aspects of it, though. That's how I feel about Breath of Fire 3. The puzzles have been very infuriating, but there is so much stuff about this game that I've really enjoyed that I'm playing it anyway. Yeah, I've been working hard. Spoon, you've made a lot of progress. I think you're ready for a new lesson. Spoon learned super combo. Aw, oh, hell yeah. I don't know what that is, but it sounds rad. What you got? Attack one target. Press button. Okay. You can do, oh, you can do that exactly once with your 14 AP. Good luck knocking out another RPG Spoonie. Thank Bar you! Yeah. And thank you for the 29 months. Welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, Sailor Peter. How are you? It's like a regular combo, only super. Oh, I think I have to go back to the tent to look at that, don't I? I can, though. Let me go talk to the other guy I need to talk to first. Oh, I believe... Whoa. Wait. Wait. Did, is this different? Oh wait, no, this is the diggy hole place. Never mind. I was thinking of the tree. Which I guess technically I could have come back there for a thing, but I'm not going to. from you hopefully something I don't know I mean I still feel like 
like RPGs, at least to a degree, have a focus on music. It probably depends on who made it. Oh, no, no, no. I won't, I won't argue against that at all, Crimson Tinted. I love the music of this game. It is an amazing soundtrack. Oh, man. Okay, Delonzo apparently doesn't have anything to teach us. Bummer. But we got one thing. So that's cool. I figured better safe than sorry on checking it before we go. Say something so controversial yet so brave, Jack. <laughs> okay, nothing new for the fairies. Uh, which I think means that there probably won't be any more items. Oh. Oh, I got a wisdom fruit. Hell yes. Oh, that's great. I need those. Please. Goodness. I am so happy that they gave me three wisdom fruits. I literally used two wisdom fruits fighting the boss in the desert for the dumb reason of me not bringing any water and being too stubborn to walk all the way back. do that, Rio. Were you just, like, curious how it would feel with no music? Because, yeah, I, I, I'm with BGG. Like, the OST for the 7 remake is disgustingly good. It almost feels criminal to turn it off. <laughs> oh, also, Glenn, so really, okay, the main issues that I've had with Breath of Fire 3 are that it's very heavy on minigames. And many of them feel like they have not aged well and how they control and function. Some of them just don't feel like they were made right. Um, <laughs> some of them were really, really hard and, and frustrating to play. Um, not very intuitive. Others weren't too bad. But I, I've also been telling people, like, to take my opinion on the puzzles with at least a little bit of a grain of salt because I'm not really a puzzle person. I don't... I don't typically like a whole lot of puzzles. There are a small segment of puzzles and types of puzzles that I enjoy. The rest of them aren't usually up my alleyway. Ooh, oh no! You felt the same and you love puzzles. Like I felt, I felt so bad disliking the puzzles. Like this is the, this, this is one of the few games on stream that I've like really struggled with because of the fact that I love everything else about it. But the puzzles have been like, just, just at times making me flat out salty. And I don't usually get salty on stream about things. But like that lighthouse, for example, I literally had to go take a. So what I had to go take a break. Are saying at Spoonies we need a Professor Layton marathon stream? I don't know. Do they have a lot of puzzles? I feel like the answer to that is yes. Professor Layton is the one that's literally a puzzle yeah. game, right? 
times do you mean clear media that it became easy because you had to do it so many times that now you'll never be able to like fail at it because you've done it so much is that what you mean because uh i spent <laughs> i don't even want to talk about how long i spent on that fucking lighthouse <laughs> It's just... Whoo! You'll just have to go look at the VOD for that. There were a few other ones. Okay, like finding finding the piece. The piece that's called an F piece, but it's actually an H piece, but it's actually like this other piece. This right here, then if you can see this emote, Bard F, it's shaped like an L, but it's an F piece, but it's called part H that all right that was disgusting <laughs> egregious i mean it was at least really funny i did get a really good laugh out of it but it was like bordering on hysteria <laughs> there's just there's just been a few like that i've been like uh, you know you could have just not had this here the rope minigame. The one where you play as Gar and you're pulling the rope with the, in the well. You're pulling up the bucket. Why? Why did that puzzle have to exist? That's from Breath of Fire 3. Bard F is from Breath of Fire 3. Yeah, and there's decoy parts you don't need. Yeah, it's not a puzzle. Yeah, it's just like... I, I sure hope that you turn your head every single camera angle in every single weird corner, including outside of the area that you're probably thinking that it is. And finding the wrong piece that you think is the right piece like six different times. I hope you like that. <laughs> You know, like, I, I don't mind if it's a well-designed puzzle. I can usually at least tolerate it. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, uh, that's why I say, like, those things frustrated. But as much as they frustrated me, Breath of Fire 3 has so many other things going for it that I've just, like, set aside my hatred of puzzles in this game. And been like, you know what? Doesn't matter. I want to find out what Dragon Kid has. I want to go see it. I got to know the story. Creepy old man going to make Nina kiss him? Fine. I'll just beat the shit out of him. All right? It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Have I heard about later alligator? You mean like, see you later alligator? After a while, crocodile. Hi, piece of the gut. <laughs> hey, you sound like you're having a good Wednesday. Hi, Doomleaf, how are you? You're starting to remember why you forgot. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I've played plenty of old RPGs that I love, Glenn, and gone like, why? Why is this in here? I don't even know. How did I put up with this as a kid? Oh, nice, Beery. Yeah, yeah, the, the robot was the one people were telling me about. Oh, also, I was gonna look at the master list. Because, uh... Oh, hey, there's stars here. I guess that means we have mastered them. Ah! That's cool. Oh yeah, that's right. There's this ancient sorceress lady. Hmm, that's 
tempting. I forgot where the Cave of Ages is. Your bigger complaints that there's not enough battle content for how in-depth the battle system is? Oh man, a post-game arena would have been really cool. Hi, Twice Cast, how are you? Yo, I got straight up furious, Glenn. When the old, when the old elder dragon guy asked Nina to come up and give him a kiss to continue his story, I literally stopped playing the game and I just ranted for five minutes. <laughs> Master Snake Punch. That was you a secret of Evermore. You really do enjoy that game. It's a real pain in the rump. You can't believe you had patience for it as a kid. I played it for four hours and barely beat the first boss. It is a really tough game. Oh, there's a game called Later Alligator. No, I haven't I haven't heard of it. You like heavily customizable games? I do too, Kalar. They're a lot of fun. How's Judy, by the way? She's doing good. She finally let me start giving her gift tracks, so I gave her a door plate for today. Mm. Hmm. Hey, chat. Does anyone remember where the Cave of Ages is? I forgot how to get there. I feel like maybe I should... S it's entirely possible that maybe I should switch uh, Nina to her, but I for I also forget, hey chat, because I've been playing this game on and off over like a three month period. If I switch Nina to Deus, will she lose the skills that she's learned from Imitai? Or just the stats? Oh, the volcano! The volcano. Okay, skills once they're learned are retained for good. Oh, cool. Oh, they affect that growth on level. That's right. That's right. Dang, what sucks is that Delonzo has that nice accuracy one. Oh yeah, the butt rocks. I don't know if I should bother going to get that or not. I feel like I've come this far. I don't know if I need that. Ah, decisions. Anthony, how are you? You've been meaning to ask me, Aslan? How do I feel about the guidance in Hollow Knight? You've been going through it, but asking a friend for help constantly. You know there's explanation intended and such, but you feel like you never really know what to do. I like the guidance in Hollow Knight, but I also tend to be a kind of person in a Metroidvania where I really, really genuinely enjoy the blind exploration of things. That's Probably my favorite part of the game is exploring blindly. So there were, I mean, there were definitely times where I'd be like, shoot, I don't know where to go next. But I would do things like, well, what skills have I acquired? Do I remember anywhere that I went, oh man, that looks like something I can get to later. Um, there was a point though where I had to flat out ask Fish like, okay, I'm clearly missing the next big thing and I can't see it on my map, help. <laughs> So if you do need to ask, like I don't, I don't feel that that's something to like feel bad about, you know. About how in depth are you in this game? You have a spreadsheet listing all of Ryu's stack games per level. Oh, that's cool. You really like exploring, but you kind of wish you knew a general area to go at times. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I guess we'll go to the volcano. Hey, chat! What's the closest relay point to the volcano? I forget. 
Because it's definitely faster to go this way than walking all the way through all this other stuff. Probably Windia? Yeah, I guess because I think we would just cross the bridge and then cross the other bridge, right? Teleport or not. No, I didn't mean to walk down. I just want to use a teleporter. So there's still a bunch of stuff that I don't know and don't want to know. <laughs> I did figure out on my own how to make it so Kaiser form isn't dessert. So that was cool. Oh, hi, Cloudy One. How are you doing today, by the way? Hi, Tufan. Yeah, that one town with the boat that took... However many years we were unconscious in a mine as a dragon to get functioning. <laughs> okay, so... Volcano. This way. How did I figure out how to get Kaiser not be berserk? Process of elimination. I was, uh, so in the desert, I was fighting that boss with no health, and I figured out, I was like, you know, Kaiser form hit so hard that this boss fight might actually be doable despite us having practically no health. So I decided to try out a bunch of different ones with Kaiser each time, because I figured I might as well take the chance to science experiment as well, and I put Kaiser together with the failure gene and it gave me control. Or wait, is she in that front door instead of the back entrance? It's literally been so long that I don't even remember where she is in this place. Okay, it is the front entrance. I was thinking the back entrance. I think because, you know what, I think I was thinking of that entrance because that's where I went originally thinking she was back there and then she wasn't back there. Yeah, I agree, Dragon Skull. That would have been a little bit less weird. You know what? I don't even know if I actually talked to this lady and realized that she was... Yeah, I want to see Deus. I don't even think I came back here. So I don't think that I realized that she could train us. I don't even remember what her voice was, so whatever. Well, well, what are you doing here? Did you miss me that much? You mean there's someone who wants to learn from me? Okay. But only on one condition. You have to call me ma'am. <laughs> yes, mighty mistress. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yay. I'm a harsh mistress. Uh, nope. That's it. I'm gonna leave and come back and see if he'll talk to me again. No, I actually did say, hey chat, where is this lady? 
Yeah, don't don't worry about telling other people about hay traps. Either myself or the mods will take care of it. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I think we would have to get another level for that. Hmm. Is in so low that will make a difference? I like the accuracy from Delonzo, so I don't think I'm going to do either of those two. But yeah, new master! I don't know if we're ever going to get any of those skills, but... Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Different stats, though. Slytherin. Yeah, I just wanted to go back in and check the masters and the abilities that I had equipped and see if I had missed learning anything that I could already learn. Alright, let's head back now. I also upgraded all of our main party's equipment, so we should be good to go now, I think. Master, you should totally make yourself a PB and J. It sounds tasty. Oh, the sneaky Luku popping up randomly on screen. Oh, that's actually our follow alert, Jacorius. I like for people who are lurking to feel like if they want to follow the channel, that yeah. they can. And still get like a little indication like, hey, you follow the channel, thank you. But without calling them out by name, so they don't feel like they're getting called out alert. Okay, let's go back to A. Then to the yeah. container yard. Yard! Can you mention something about getting her as a master that no longer has any spoilers to it? Um, sure. Thank you for asking for it. Container yard, okay. Then, I'm gonna save again, and we'll go into the final yeah. dungeon question mark. Wednesday. <laughs> I had a sandwich for lunch. And also an avocado. An avocado, thanks! It was delicious. Angry Trees and I started buying bags of avocados again, and we'll like split one for lunch. First the avocado, then the house. This is how it starts. This is how what starts chaos. How much did it cost? Uh, you know, the price of a house, Balthazar, of course. That's definitely how much avocados cost, right? I do also have bread and a toaster, if that helps. <laughs> It was a free Shavakadu. What do you mean? Wait, you haven't seen AT lately. Well, you didn't see me for like two days. So to be fair, you hadn't seen me lately either. He's literally in the other room playing Overwatch. <laughs> That's why your aunt, ha who has an avocado tree in her backyard, is able to buy a dozen houses a year. Oh, man. That sounds very, very wonderful. What? You can miss her as a master? Back when you first meet her, if you act disappointed she isn't naked, you can't come back to apprentice her. Wow. Yeah, that's right. You be creepy? Too bad. You get nothing. Good day, sir. <laughs> I 
I'm glad I didn't listen to you guys. You guys wanted me to put up like a vote or something. I was like, no. I like the snake lady however she is, however she prefers to be. Do you play one of your favorite games of all the time? Oh yeah, yeah, I definitely am, Corey. Thank you. You have a wonderful night. Thanks for joining us. Let's go. I'm gonna try to remember what I had to do first because I did this before and then I died. Right. We can't go through here. We need to go around. No, I'll be honest. I'm not really a guacamole person. Like, maybe on some things, but I actually just like eating fresh avocados. You know, you'd figure something would be hidden back here, but it's just not. Could have easily hid something really cool back there. Robot library. A hidden stash of disappointment. According to Five Nights at Freddy's, that's the type of candy bar. <laughs> it looks just like honey. And yeah, we came this way last time. Oh yeah, and then there's like the lasers. Party members still got beat up by lasers, it's fine. Here we go, station ground control currently running in emergency lockout mode. Deactivate emergency mode, yes. Orbital station Miriam. Please use platform one. Okay. Come on, engage. Yay! All right, now we can head out. Hey, Koka, how you doing? Hey, Steve. Like a Chris to have said, this is a PlayStation 1 game I am playing on my PS3. Look at this. Attention, lift from Miria Station now at Platform 1. I keep hearing our god's name, but what does Station mean? To God, I mean. Yeah. Let's go, Abby. Attention, Cliff from Miria. Now leaving platform one. Have a nice day. Thank you. An ancient cares on a long abandoned something I missed that I read last time anyway. Spoon and his companions board the huge machine, which is unlike anything they have ever seen before. The 
machine carries them high into the sky, to a place that shares the name of a god. Last stop, Orbital Station Miria Arrivals Platform. Oh, yeah, of course I noticed Nina's text is off the box. I commented on it... Uh, last time on Friday? But we have done this little section before, but I died. I done diddly died. Oh, yeah, also this is locked, too. The buzzing started right as you blew yourself up and see these. Oh, no, my... But I'm surprised you're not playing Final Fantasy XI. You thought your phone was ringing for his day? No worries, it's just just the elevator to some god guy person. Oh no. I'm gonna see whether or not we actually hit that guy for much anymore. Well, that's better than before. Magic shovel! Ow! Can you, like, not kill me instantly? That'd be really nice. Doable. Hi, Blue Jacket Brian. How are you? Oh man, a not a flaming mode would be cool. Wait, Butterfly is a doom. That's Earthbound. Insufficient power. Please perform a breaker check. Yeah. I remember that happening. Where am I? Oh. Um. Uh, okay. Slightly confusing, it's fine. Um, I don't know what... I don't know what a point of this is. I found a life shard, though, so I got that going for me. I found a life shard! Goody, goody, gum drop. Nina, you take the one extra HP. <laughs> I think you need it. Out of everyone, I think you could use this uh, HP. There's Uncharted Waters Online, which seemed promising, but it got all pay to win and wrecked economy. Oh, that stinks. Windy Nightmares, please. Hope you like fire. Okay, the eggs had that. That's not too bad. Raccoon! Raccoon, Baccoon. Okay, Siphon luckily doesn't seem to do too much damage. Alright, so we can take care of those guys too. Nice. This is already looking more promising than before, where we got absolutely, completely destroyed. Still keeping my cheese. Let's check down here. You found gas shells! Hmm. That is a equip for Momo. Oh, 
Oh, a death bot. That sounds terrible. <laughs> oh no. I don't like robots that have the word death in their name. Typically not a good sign. I think we'll just skip you. I don't think so. I'm out of here. I'm outie. All right, so that leaves us with going up this way. Ooh, okay, there's a lever over here. Hey, Pix, thank you. Exactly as they should be. We're gonna conserve AP when we can with Iron Sword. Nice. They did sleep a walk away from the fight. They're just that good. You'd consider it a worse sign if the robot was named Cuddles? I mean, maybe if it had, like, razor blades for hands. Ooh, excuse me. I felt the sneeze coming on, and I was right. Please enter your destination. Um, uh, maintenance deck, I guess? But I'm also really, really bad at Dr. Mario, so I feel like that wouldn't go over super well for me. Intruder alert! Arming weapons! Oh boy. destination workers area okay that's i believe where they said to go through you remember you played breath of fire 4 like 16 years ago and your english was oh no it was bad so you couldn't understand anything i'm sorry apex hey so like the fact that you played through all of it anyway that's pretty admirable i remember playing rpgs when i was younger and i didn't know 
a lot of the bigger words. Even that in itself was kind of difficult and confusing. Oh boy. You get to go first. And unfortunately, it seems like we're having very poor luck when it comes to avoiding getting put to sleep. Oh, you have UF4 yet? You still haven't played it? I forget which ones other people were telling me to play after this. Not like immediately after. We got other games to play, but just sort of in general. Let's try this again. Yeah, I played that one wasn't like a bad game or anything. It just didn't aim super well. Oh, you got a little walkthrough booklet because you were stuck in it? Dude, I remember when I played uh, Final Fantasy VI, I got stuck so many times when I originally played it that uh, I couldn't finish the game. So instead I, wrote, I read the story through the game guide. <laughs> Ooh, there's a lot of rooms here. Card key is required for access, okay. You need a card key, got it. Nothing, nothing. Anything here, you got 800 zenny. You found napalm, nice. Ooh, and a room we can rest in. Oh, that's convenient. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to do that. Alrighty, Shadow, have a good night. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah. Oh, good. We can change party members here, too, in case we need to for some reason. And I think I'm going to start saving on a different file. So if for whatever reason I've decided we've made a huge mistake. We'll have a save file. We'll, we'll keep the first save file as one outside of all this. Yep, this is our home now. Yeah, a lot of those guys were pretty comprehensive, which was nice. Except for the Final Fantasy IX one, which for some strange reason was just go to playonline.com. I never owned that one. I only heard rumors of it years later from the internet. Also, we critted that guy in the face, nice. All right, there's some stairs here. Oh, and some papers. Can I read these? No. Found some zenny. What's out here? Ooh, lasers. I see lasers. I don't like lasers. Lasers are bad. did, but I don't think it's going to matter. Boop. Yay! All right, let's check this back corner. Can be sure there's not something hidden? Okay. Uh, oh boy, there's lasers all over there. Which I'm sure would be hurdy explodey if I touched them. Okay, or I, I, you know what, we'll just fail running away, that's fine. That's fine. 
I guess. I just don't really want to fight the tank bot because they're kind of hard to hit. Okay, here's a door that opens. Ooh, escalators! Uh... They look like they go a lot faster than they actually do. Maybe it's just that one that goes reverse up -y. That looks terrifying. What? Your wounds are healed and you feel completely refreshed. All right. That's highly suspicious. <laughs> I'm, I like how getting a full heal makes me uncomfortable. Also, are you serious? Playing 42? Is this a Resident Evil reference? Are you, are you coming at me straight up with the re RE1 references? I mean, I guess this is Capcom. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, look at Luna. Luna, you are almost falling off the bed. Silly. Sleepy kitty. Nice. Holly, you're a silly, not sleepy birdie today. You might be sleepy later after you finish eating, huh? Yeah. Oh. Spoon was attacked and wounded by a bizarre plant. The plant is blocking the entrance. You can't get in. It's completely overgrown. Even a sword is no use. Oh. Magic. No? Okay. Fine then. I will not go this direction, I guess. Looks like they're gonna just straight up pull a Resident Evil and we're gonna have to find some kind of chemical to kill that thing. It, wait, do you think if they try to remake RE4 they'll end up with a BMC remake instead? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I think she wanted some pets. <laughs> Burn everything! Okay. Plant also sounds funny. But you know what does make sense? The fact that these plants don't have any money. Technically, it would be like almost remaking it a third time. Because there's the original Resident Evil 1 for PlayStation 1, and then there was the remake on GameCube, and then the remake that's available on Steam right now. <laughs> that's that's why I, I was calling it the re-re-re. How will they purchase the plant food? I mean, they're growing so fast, it doesn't look like they need it. Oh, it's just one tank bot. We can handle that. Probably. Maybe. Or it might kill us. You never know. Or maybe, you know what? Maybe the reason why they don't have any money is they already spent it on plant food, and that's why they're growing so well. No, it still seems pretty different to me. It's definitely more than just like a flat out, here's some HD res graphics. Go 
Okay. This is another healing room. They really want us to be healed up. These look like previous bosses. Parasite Eve is a remake, God. I played the original last year sometime. Just kind of on a whim. I liked it. Free treasure. You found a holy robe. Alright, let's see what stats that has. Blessed armor. It doesn't really say. However... pretty good. I'm going to equip it. Hi, Luna. Did you wake up? Did you wake up? Did you wake up from your nap? Come come here. You're just sitting there, sitting there on the floor, waiting for me to open the door. Have a nice nap, Luna. 
he's like, yes, I did, Mom. Please let me down. <laughs> I know. I know. You probably want to go get a snack. Okay. Oh, going to take my headphones with you. <laughs> Ollie's like, where did the cat go? <laughs> she left, Ollie. <laughs> what, you wanna go follow her? Ooh. Shock panel, settings monitor. Uh, set which panel has a current by aligning the pluses and minuses. Uh, you what? Uh, referring to I didn't read the instructions I didn't read the instructions so we should probably go take a look at what the heck we're doing hi black knight how are you oh thank you Rasta hey bet how are you doing Experiment area. Use the three monitors to set which panels carry a current. Danger, don't enter area while panels are active. It looks dangerous. Do you go in? No. Okay. description of what it is I am trying to do. I'm gonna go maybe look at that other room. Cause that one has two more panels and maybe it will have an actual description. <gasps> they turned you into a noob! Wouldn't 
say what the game's asking of me when I haven't asked for that. This is a blind play. It, it, I. Am I gonna? Please, please. I'm trying very hard to finish Breath of Fire 3 and not quit out of frustration. <laughs> Thank you. Settings. Okay. Set which panels are current by way of plus and minuses. Okay, so you can only move it left to right. Okay, so there's only bosses here. Interesting. It's like, I need there to be... Yeah, it looks like you can't go from that to that. Hmm. Jimmy, if that had to play during the entire stream, I would literally just stop playing this game, to be honest. If that's what it came to, I would just not play anymore. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Looking at this puzzle, it I have discovered with absolute certainty that the puzzles in Breath of Fire 3 confuse me. But yeah. Lol. <laughs> yep, me too. You're not alone. Thank you, Necro, for 19 months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. You're gonna love your. I'm gonna love your solution to this puzzle. Is it to turn away around and walk away and never come back? <laughs> that sounds like a pretty good solution to me right now. <laughs> what am I doing 360? I'm gonna run into the lightning. Hi Binary, how are you today? You think you played through this game two times back in the day and you apparently don't remember much about it other than dragons. Yep, Gar, Gar does have biceps on his wings. It's pretty cool. Hi, Fire Shaker. How are you? Yeah, I mean, I guess if I were going to turn around and never come back, I probably should have done that at the lighthouse. Let's see in the top. because when you see it, you do a 360 and walk away, joke was. I kind of miss the simpler times of that being the big gamer meme. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I... All right. I don't really understand why that's happening. It's like, oh my god, BGG, you miss, you miss when 
trolls actually tried? <laughs> like, I don't like trolls, but I still miss one occasionally when you would get one and they'd actually try. They don't even try anymore. This makes me sad. Exactly, Belfazar. <laughs> I don't know what this I don't I don't know what this wants from me. This is nonsense. No, oh, I'm sorry, Barry. Place. Sometimes the good kind of weird, other times not so good. I don't get it at all. There's no instructions. There's no instructions. What happens if I do that? I don't even know. It doesn't even matter. There's just, there's just electricity everywhere. see any of this. <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know what you're asking for, video game. one of them but because there's no instructions it's really difficult to figure out what you're even supposed to do puzzles that make sense and you can solve. I don't really think that's an excuse. Hmm. 
Like, I feel like I'm supposed to line up a symbol on each row, but it's figuring out how to get that to work. Yeah, I don't know. Still better puzzles than Final Fantasy X? Psychology B. I'll admit, there are a couple of those puzzles I really don't like, but you really think that this is a better puzzle than Final Fantasy X? <laughs> What universe am I living in? Why? 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 Also, can we get some F's in the chat for the honorable Sudoku? <laughs> like, the temple puzzles, they're not, like, great. I didn't have fun solving them all the time. But, like, at least they sometimes mostly make sense. This is just... This has no instructions. I don't even think you can compare the two. Bard Cozy Bard Wave. <gasps> yeah, Ramon. Thank you so much for 37 months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. The secret sphere is short. The secret spheres don't make as much sense, but... Wayne, let me guess. You have already finished this puzzle, right? Yes, I'm going to assume that you've already done this puzzle. Because if you have, I'm sure it makes perfect sense after you've already done it. But as someone trying to solve a puzzle using three different panels and some symbols with no other instructions than Set which panel has a current by aligning the pluses and minuses. This puzzle's trash. <laughs> Gamer Biomac redeems an honorable Sudoku and says, I never played Final Fantasy X. And you know what? That's okay. We get some S in the chat for Biomac. You have no clue. <laughs> I'm sure if you've already solved this puzzle, it makes sense. But this is garbage. I don't even wanna. Hey chat, I don't wanna do this puzzle. I'm sorry, this is trash. I, I would rather spend my time actually working towards beating Breath of Fire 3 instead of looking at some weird pluses and minuses and shuffling them meticulously, annoyingly, one square at a time until I figure this out. Is, ooh, BGG, was your solution to say screw it and walk to the other side and just not care about the puzzle? Because, uh, you know what? That's going to be my solution then. My solution is going to be, I reject your puzzle. You have to overlap all the panels. Oh, so there's a plus, a minus, and a blank in each square. Yeah, see, that's not clear at all. That's super unclear. And because of that, this is what you've asked of me, Breath of Fire 3. Wow, these sparks look dangerous. I don't care. Also, 
I'm poisoned, apparently. I didn't even take that much damage! I barely took any damage at all! Whatever, Breath of Fire. <laughs> Whatever! I'm so done with your puzzle bullshit! Absolutely ridiculous. Pathetic. <laughs> and see, I wouldn't have minded that puzzle had they actually written in the instructions what you're supposed to do in a clear, concise manner. If they had just written out, there are plus symbols, minus symbols, and blank squares. In order to make a square safe, you must stack each of the symbols on top of each other in each square to create a path across. Easy. I could have literally written that for them. This goes to the middle room. I don't know if there's anything in this. Oh wait, yeah, this, oh, yeah, yeah, this is the one with the treasure, cool. You found a slicer. <laughs> Hi, Mike. How are you? Gas experiment. Experiment with a sleep gas underway. Stab gas before entering room. This is definitely a face of someone who's having a good time in the last dungeon, right? You found ivory dice! somewhere else where we can shut up a sleeping gas experiment I don't even know what that statement means black knight how do you how do you personally define very popular who is to say that breath of fire 3 was unpopular I know a ton of people who absolutely love this game <laughs> I don't think that's a very fair statement. Yeah, it makes no sense to me, Dragon Skull. It really, like even, even though some of the other puzzles have been frustrating, they've at least had instructions. So it's really weird that one didn't. Sure, there are things I don't like about this game, but I'm trying really hard to at least be fair with it. Oh look, uh, I brute forced it, and now it's fine. Now, now there's no electricity. <laughs> Yay! Well, we're probably dead. Thank you for using your crystals on Moon Singer for a night. Hi, how are you today? Um, yeah, we gotta try to run a 
okay, because otherwise that other dragon's gonna cast cross No. Oh, I checked all the walls for random pieces of paper. For you! Box. Thank you for gifting a sub to Aslan. Welcome back. I hope you enjoy the emote. Okay, so we've gone that way. I don't think I went through this door before. Ah. Oh. Oh no. A horrible monster is asleep on the other side of the glass! Oh boy, should we wake it up? It looks like it's sound asleep. Why do we leave it that way? Uh, because it's sitting on an elevator. That card there. Maybe it's a key for something. able to get any further without it. We have no choice then. We'll have to stop that gas first. Oh boy, terminating sleep gas. Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey! Anyway, nice. Uh, at least the game let me see that there's a boss fight there before I actually arrive. My courage overloaded the electrical circuit. <laughs> well, here goes Nina. Hooray! I'm gonna run or I'm gonna die maybe. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I have to redo all of that all over again. Mm -hmm. Super fair, 100%. Most fair thing in any game ever. Gosh, golly gee gosh, I just feel... You know, so blessed to have classic JRPGs that are 100% fair, 100% of the time. I'm trying so hard not to quit this game. And uh, it is really, 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 really making it difficult. Breath of Fire 3, you are making it difficult for me to want to finish playing you. Do you, do you, want, do you want me to see what happens to Ryu? Because in the video game, you're not really acting like you are wanting that. You are acting like you want the opposite. Well, time to walk all the way back. If I can remember where it came from. Crafted 
Yeah, this boy's been having issues all day, unfortunately. Yeah, no, we quit Golden Sun at least two thirds into the game last year. I'm trying not to have that happen again because I, I don't really like for that to be the case. down earlier and then it came back after a few minutes and seems to have mostly been okay since then but I know other people have said they've had outages too going to try to do the puzzle again if by try you mean literally just walk across the electricity yes with the fact that I can just skip the puzzle. I am A-OK -okay with that. I think I'd be a lot more upset if I were forced to do the puzzle and then died afterwards before saving. <laughs> Might be a little less happy about that. What the heck is this room? come in here before your treasure uh you found healing oh wait no i did come in here that's right 
I guess I just didn't notice the grape. was thinking about ice cream metal. What kind of ice cream does your phone like? Strawberry? Hey, Master B guys, how are you today? Oh boy! So that's good. Yeah, comfort food sounds pretty good. I didn't die, so I got that going for me. For now. Wait, this is, yeah, this is the one we came from. No, wait, that's right. Well, there is that one treasure chest that we could get to. I thought. This game makes me want comfort food, yep. Doesn't it make you want comfort food? Easy 42! So many Bhutans, Koratop of Koratop of Koratop of Niko, oh wo Niko, oh wo Niko, oh wo. Oh wo. Easy, thank you so much for 24 months! That's two heckin' years. Welcome back, I hope you continue to enjoy joining us in our quest. Ding, ding. Hi, how are you today? <gasps> Do we share a birthday? Is your birthday also July 17th? <gasps> it is birthday parties! I'm excited. Paper Mario comes out on our birthday. I found out Ghost of Tsushima also comes out. It's gonna be a good day. Yes? Yeah. Fire not as bad as ice breath, which we're going to get right after and maybe die. Okay, or not, I guess. Still not really sure why sometimes cross breath does no damage and sometimes it does a lot of damage. We'll probably never know. Happy inevitable birthdays! Hi Brian C. Hi Jonathan, how are you guys? Ding, a level.
You found a slicer. Yeah, and then that's the gas experiment room. I wanted to come here and make sure that we didn't have to click on that door as a flag anyway. Oh no, I hope you feel better soon, Steezy. Thanks for joining us, do rest well. It slices, it dices, it julienne's fries! for you. When does tomorrow start for you? Does it start when the time rolls over the next day or does it start after you wake up? Like when you go to sleep and you wake up next. Because personally, I think that it's not tomorrow until I go to bed and wake up. It's not tomorrow. <laughs> if you never go to bed, is it ever a new day, though? Well, eventually, John, you'll come to the point where... Your brain will slowly shut down. And then I guess technically there's no tomorrow, but that's a little dark for me. I'd like for there to be... I'd, I'd like to continue having tomorrows for a while. <laughs> I want to have a tomorrow. That almost makes it sound like I am saying I want to have a tomato, which I would also be fine with. Oh, also, you know what I just realized? I should probably go make myself another cup of tea. Death by Daylight. Isn't, isn't that the name of the video game? <laughs> when will then be now? <laughs> now, you just missed it. When? Just now. Soon! Oh, I learned an ability I skipped over! Dun -dun 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 What did we learn? Bone break. Oh! Oh, hey! We had that ability as a Super Saiyan us, and now we have it as normal us. That's cool. Please lower the lift. Hi, Taco Warmer. How you doing? This is my first time playing any Breath of Fire, actually. 
totally blind playthrough. Um, I've enjoyed every single aspect about the game except for the puzzles. <laughs> the jeans to be puzzles it's not not what i'm against <laughs> i like i like the jeans and the dragon stuff i don't like lighthouses yep it's sound asleep mm -hmm. we're not we can't leave it that way i'm sorry there's a key card in there i need it um hopefully we don't get murdered the second we leave this room this time no i haven't played any other breath of fire game metal Okay, goodbye, sleep gas. I wouldn't know, Taco Warmer. I haven't even fought this guy yet. I literally walked outside of this room last time and got destroyed by a blue dragon, so I'd really prefer to not have any expectations about it. Thank you. back and save. Sherman, how are you? No, I've never played any of the dot hack games. I've had people say good things about him to me. I just literally didn't I didn't have them growing up, so. Oh no! Oh my god! There's a treasure chest there. I gotta go back and get it. Otherwise I'm gonna forget. <laughs> I'm walking back. To get the treasure chest that's over there. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I'm walking back. Don't want to tag me. Oh, 10,000 zenny. Yeah, I'll take that. There is. Oh. There was. There was an enemy, but it had to wait until everyone got off of. I had to wait for everyone to be still. I mean, I guess maybe Red Drake just, you know, wanted to hang around. He didn't really want to be moving. Hi, King Rufy. Yeah, I have played through all of Suikoden 2. I actually played through that one last year, and there is a full highlight of my whole playthrough here on Twitch. I really, really enjoyed it. I 
eventually want to go back and do a run of Suikoden 2 and get all 108 stars for reasons I won't state, but if you've played the game, you'll know why. Those lasers are there. Yoshi at the top of the castle. Totally. That's definitely the reason. Definitely not, uh, you know, soothing a pain in my heart. Alright. Thank goodness. Save. I really, really enjoyed Soikoden too. These days, I gotta get around to playing some of the other ones as well. Okay. I am going to go ahead and go make some tea. Because I said it would like 10 minutes ago. But I wanted to get to a safe point. Um, don't go too far. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'll, I'll be back shortly with more video games and shenanigans. And hopefully just brute forcing our way through whatever other puzzles are left.
Alright you guys, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. Let's play more Breath of Fire 3! Because uh, if we keep playing it, we will eventually finish it, right? We'll eventually get to the end. And then there will be no more puzzles. <laughs> Unless the last boss fight is a puzzle, in which case... I'll deal with that when I get there. for that. Alright, I'm just gonna try to run from everything because we're gonna go for what I assume is a boss fight. Oh, it just mimics the sound of a 56k modem and hacks the system wirelessly. That'd be really impressive. I'd like to see that. Ollie, are you gonna hack the system? I think he's too busy trying to get food out of his bowl. <laughs> Hi, Carmen. I'm 
doing okay. How are you? Final boss is a puzzle that reminds me of a certain other PS1 RPG where that fight frustrated me. Yes. But to be fair, I had the solution right the first time. I just input it incorrectly. So then I spent the next three hours putting in the wrong inputs because I thought I was wrong the first time. <gasps> Reinbach has redeemed eat all of your crystals. Eat every crystal, every single one. What flavor are they? <laughs> what flavor? I hope they're sour candy flavored. They taste like not doing puzzles. Oh my God. It sounds so good. Can I have not puzzle flavored crystals? <laughs> Release me from this prison. <laughs> Thank you so much for the good luck. I really appreciate it. You have a wonderful night. Yeah, there was a lot of hand sitting when I did that part of that particular PS1 RPG. <laughs> Probably because I had it right the first time and then refused to ask anyone about it. In typical me fashion. <laughs> Yes, Drek, that's the one. I need to go and watch the bot of that, but it's sword watching the stream and chat. Oh, not being able to interact. Yeah, it is a bit different of an experience. I just need to like go to the future, figure out who's going to find the stream and enjoy it and stick around and become part of the community and then say hi to them in the past so that when they go back and watch the VODs from the stuff that they missed, they still get said hello to. That definitely will work, right? Exactly how everything works. Thank you, Rastra. I need that. I need to be believed in to finish this. <laughs>
Yeah, like, thank you for watching, everyone, especially you, Frank. Just get a list of the top X most common names from Y years ago in every stream. Say hi to one of them. Tell them to get a deck of cards and pick one out at random, and it's the three of clubs. <laughs> I do have a nice variety of spoons. I do. Well, they have, like, that thing where you can show a past VOD battle star, but it's only, it's like you have to play it, and then your channel acts like it's live, but it's not. So, there's no way, like, I'd have to schedule it, and it just ends up clashing with, like, actual stream times and confuses people. So that's why I haven't run any of those in, like, two years. It's asleep. Maybe the gas is still working. Ha! Huh? That's real funny. Let's get the card quietly. Yeah, I'm sure this will work out. Let's lead plans. The glass shattered. Uh huh. Anyway, it was nice knowing you guys. Sally's playing with his toy knife. What do the crystals do? Oh, they're just a cat currency for fun, Rad Biscuit. Oh, I think we're poisoned. I'm gonna see what this does. Okay, yeah, that disappears after a while. Interesting. Let's see what Flame and Wind does. Darn, no defense down. Always worth a try, though. Bakum, bakum, bakum! Okay. 
after real close to ouchie dead dead. Biscuit, could you please stop typing in all caps? It would be very kindly appreciated for my eyeballs. Thank you. Hey, Sako, you want your mom make a batch of her brownie peanut butter cup muffins, and it turns out the part that houses the peanut butter cup is made from cookie dough. Oh my god, that sounds so delicious. <laughs> That sounds really tasty. Alright, I'm gonna do vitalize and just keep poking him. Yeah, I could I could definitely go for a cookie brownie muffin. I'd like that a lot. Oh man, this is gonna cost me too much now, though. Aw, oh, yeah, I'm only gonna get like one turn. Oh, I'm gonna try to steal from him. Hi, Irene, how are you? Aw, oh, you couldn't steal anything. Yo. What if I want to steal? Just use one of those wisdom fruits. But Drac, I got three more of them from the fairies. So actually I could. Gotcha! voice actress, but I am looking for work as one. So I am active in the sense of I would happily voice act in things currently. Oh wait, do we have phone break again? I need to look. No. I'm just going. Oh, 
stream, Jack. Sometimes I stream games that already have voice acting. Oh, look, it's Blizzard. Ooh, Spoon lived with uh, nine health. Owie. games for free but that's really only due to the fact that we do have people that are able to and want to support the stream monetarily because if no one could or did I would have to go get another job <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna melee again with Gar also thanks Jack I'm glad you enjoyed my voice Soroko did, so I'm gonna try it again. Oh, 211. Actually, that's slightly less than mine. Ooh, restore. Alright, that means he's gotta be close to dead. He's gotta be close to dead. going all out. We're all screwed. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Now mine sort of only did 132. Oh, 
it's a good thing I healed her. impressive or important at all what is that supposed to mean it doesn't it doesn't look that important but i'm sure it's good for something <laughs> well okay then i'm gonna go save Oh, did you say that your your Gar has more AP and intellect than your Ryu does now, Dragon Skull? And breath attacks work that way too. So unfortunately, if you try to run away and get double unlucky in both not being able to run away and they decide to cast ice breath on you, you're just gonna take a lot of damage, which is not super fun. needed a key card I don't actually know if that room goes anywhere but I guess we'll go find out but you're still hungry oh no I'm hungry in real life I will check that. I, I want. I want to see these. I don't want to see this. Oh man, those look so good, Sako. <laughs> Can we all just come over and share? Those look so tasty. Yeah. <laughs> 
through it. Oh wait, uh, actually, did those heal rooms actually fix me up with max HP? Oh, they did! Oh, that's nice. Let's save. dinner tonight. That sounds like a good plan. Okay, I think the ID card, the key card doors were this way. I don't know if this is the right one or not. We'll find out. Hi there, how are you? Zelda 2 was not actually an error. There's another NPC named Bagu that sends you to error. Bagu's name is an error. His name is supposed to be Bug. <laughs> what a world. Oh, hey, also, this is the ID we needed to get to this door. Uh, okay. Would you like a navigator? What's a navigator? Those are navigators lined up over there. They're guides to the Myria Orbital Station. They contain numerous safety features as well as keys called navigator codes. Okay. I found Demon's Bane. All right, that sounds pretty rad. Devil Slayer. Okay, I will consider it. Uh, please, I would love a navigator. Wait, oh, I already have one. Okay. So wait, if you guys come from here, how the heck did Momo get you? That's, that's interesting. What level are you? Oh, damn. I don't have one that's an A card. Demon Fang. Bark Demon man. Fang! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Demon, Demon Fang! I think you can make this snowman. Demon Fang! I could go for yelling Demon Fang a bunch right now. Upstairs already. Hmm. 
Raidor redeems one honorable Sudoku and says, David Fang! David Fang. Can we get some Fs in the chat for Raidor? We'll see you in 10 minutes. Wait, what is this? Auto lock system active. Release main entrance lock. Oh, I didn't... Oh, that's a shortcut out of here. <laughs> I didn't even come up here before. Laser lock system. Uh, entry to lab. Prohibited. Oh, nice. We let ourselves into the lab. Okay, that's good. That should be helpful. F indeed. Yeah, I don't... At least according to the game, no one else has ever crossed the outer sea. So unless there's something we don't know about, no one else has actually been over here. I don't know, I just kind of feel like with how much Momo knew about her dad's research, even though some of it she didn't know, like, I feel like we would have found info about him coming across the sea if he had. Shortcuts, they're really nice to have. I'm quite thankful. Shortcuts. Mm. I don't really know what's over here, so I'm just gonna look around. You find oh a life shard. Okay, I'll take that. Nothing! The little tables. I don't know if there's anything important over here, so I figured I should check. Maybe. I don't know, Chris Thor. That's a good question. We really don't know what Momo's dad built a rocket for, do we? Other than as, like, an escape hatch kind of thing. Momo? I mean, not Momo. Mina! I don't have Momo in our party because I didn't level her enough. I'm trying to fight at least some of these guys so we keep getting XP. Oh, you see the fight is talking time? Yeah! I think it was a cover for his magazine collection. I mean, that's going pretty far to cover up a magazine collection. He literally built a rocket just for that? That seems excessive. You'd think that he would say there's a rocket and there wouldn't be one, you know? It's a big investment in a cover up. Right, this is where that plant was. We can't get rid of that yet. So the next place we can try to go is back to where we fought the boss, but go down that elevator. So that's where we'll go. Hi Rocket, how are you? Doing okay. Oh, you're hanging in there. Oh, I 
am feeling a similar nature today. So really disturbed by the armor having a mouth inside of its body. Like how did how did that develop exactly? I'm not sure I trust that. We did it. We won a single battle. It is cool. Thank you. Nano machines. I thought that was Metal Gear Solid. Wait just a diddly darn minute here. I need to drink more of my tea. Oh, his camera doesn't have a separate mic. It actually picks up on the microphone I use. Waiting for random battles. Waiting for random battles. Although it, it, yeah, it looks like my mic's at normal volume. No, yeah, I mean, between him and my mic, there's probably like, I don't know, four feet or so of distance. He's just, uh, he's just loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're loud, but we love you, Ollie. Do you like your toy? Are you happy that mom put a toy over there for you? Although funny enough, as an African Grey, he's still a lot less loud than most other parents. filter <laughs> yeah people have asked me about doing that before like giving him a separate mic and i'm like there's there's no way that you wouldn't just immediately hear double audio all the time because he's like four feet away from me yeah he just turned 11 last week on friday he is uh almost a teenager in human years. Ah, that seemed fair. Mm -hmm. I will take um, the results of this fair gameplay and continue forward. Enter this door and go around through below. We go here and then here and then there and there and everywhere. pal chum how was everybody else's weekend by the way what did, did you guys do anything special while i was gone i 
I basically just played video games and doodled. Crossing. Oh, Monday and Tuesday back to work. You brought your 3D printer home from the office over weekend proper, making the mask back to work, and you've had the printer back on your desk since Monday, turning out more. Nice. Homework in helping your sister while she recovers from a back injury. Oh man, that's so exciting. Yeah, I hope that she recovers soon. What's this way? A treasure chest? You found he shells! Spoon can use them to destroy plant life. Okay, so we need Momo. And here's a locked door. I can't see what's happening. It's locked. Maybe Spoon would be able to pick it. Small ones are named Clone. That's pretty weird. Which spoon? Oh, I know which one. I mean, you can get it pretty easily based on context clues. Who has a gun? Momo. Who can pick locks? Ray. The right leg is capped because he's a right hand man. Ollie says no. treasure or not uh. I kind of don't wanna this is this is the point I'm at. I don't want optional treasure anymore. Hi Faye, I am I am okay. How are you today? I mean, 
I feel like if we were going to name them all different alterations of capitalization of spoon, then I should at least make them sort of make sense, right? You had the weird experience of watching your parents and wife work in the yard this weekend while you're recovering from surgery, but it was good to spend time with family. Oh yeah! Hey, I hope you're, you're recovering swiftly, Baramon. I'm glad you got to spend some time with family too! You're doing okay, making slow test steady progress in Persona 2. Nice! I mean, I'll be honest, Barry, sometimes unsarcastically yes i wouldn't mind a linear game because <laughs> it's like all right this makes me feel like how i felt playing octopath traveler where i i wouldn't really bring the thief character with me so then if i wanted to get the treasure i had to leave the dungeon go back and get him run back run away from every battle because he was low level, open the treasure, and go all the way back, change party members again, come back again. And then just don't wanna. <laughs> so, what's sad is that, you know what, that particular segment of treasure chest, those three chests could contain the most Powerful three weapons in the entire game, and I'm too exhausted to go and get them. Did I come? I, I guess I did come down there. Good or bad? Uh, what's the definition of good or bad? <laughs> Long. There are a lot of JRPGs where I don't run away from random battles. I'm honestly running away from the random battles in this game because I am tired and I just want to finish this dungeon. <laughs> Otherwise, I would probably be fighting them all for the experience points and money. I, man, we're, okay, I gotta go back to the save point. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I have to bring in Momo. I have no option because the game says bring in Momo. She's the only one who can murder the plants.
No, I'll give her the forest armor. Okay, let's bring Momo to what might be another boss fight. Definitely hanging in there. Fine, we just keep running and running and running and Momo has 83 health. <laughs> okay, we need to go upstairs and we need to take the green path. She doesn't have five health, she has 86. 83. It's fine. I was wrong too. It doesn't even matter. It would, Aslan, but then it wouldn't be the 90s. That's true. I've beat bosses with less health than that. Just, you know what? Doesn't matter. Come at me, Breath of Fire! I don't give any shits anymore! My wounds are healed and I feel completely refreshed! Just like the morning dew drops of the sun! Up here's plants. Yeah, this looks kind of, uh... Like a thing. But the problem is I don't know if I'm going to need Momo anywhere else in the entirety of this section of the game. And I could, I could need her again. And then if I needed her again, I'd have to walk all the way back again. You're not fooling me, Breath of Fire. Yeah, I saved. I saved before I swapped Momo into the party, but at the same place. You found a magic shard! You found a pass for a free taco! Nah, all lowercase spoon is peco. Lowercase spoon would die horribly in here. Even worse than Momo will horribly die if she gets hit by anything ever. Yep, a canister of taco. Pan of light bulbs. That's honestly my favorite result of uh, a game in the 90s. Silent Hill having a can of light bulbs. Bless you, Silent Hill. Bless you. Absolutely great. You cannot escape. That's a little too dark for me, Breath of Fire. I'm out. Stop it. Just stop it right now. Cease, desist. Okay. Yeah, for some reason it was restoring my health. I don't know why, I mean my AP. When, which is weird because before they definitely stole my AP. It's locked. It's locked. Maybe Spoon could pick it. Na 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 
want to leave. <laughs> Hi, Roga. How are you today? Cat, do you promise that this game is worth me finishing? That's fine, Tipo. I never asked you to spare me this pain. I only wish that the developers of Breath of Fire 3 liked me a little bit more. Oh, BGG says meh. Well, okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it. It's over. It's been nice. I'm not I'm not gonna take it out on you <laughs> that would be very immature and also rude and inconsiderate and shitty so I would never do that I guess I could go around and get that treasure chest that is becoming more tempting to take you up on that offer. Because I was really hoping to finish this game tonight, but I'm starting to feel that that is very much out of, out of my control here. I doubt that's going to happen. that lock only to discover that I need to bring another character that I don't have with me because that seems to be the theme. Also, hi Rogue with Whimsy. How are you doing today? Did I ever buy the weapons and armor? Yes. I grinded money for about two and a half hours and I purchased every upgrade that was available right before this dungeon. 
for my main party. Because when I came here without that, I got completely and utterly destroyed. The party awakens. The party runs. Run, party, run! Disco Inferno, run, party, run! Oh no, also, yeah, I, by the way, Roga, I didn't, I didn't think you were implying that at all, just to clarify. <laughs> Did not take it in any negative aspect whatsoever. I was just reassuring you, of course it's okay to ask how it's going. Um, as for how it's going, I am fine. I'm fine with fire in the background like that one meme dog. <laughs> I guess I've, I've had worse. Hey, at least he's level 20. Bardow, oh Bardow, oh Bardow, oh Bardow, oh Bard, but 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 Bard love. Bard, but. But! No. Grandpa Boy, thank you for 21 months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. Hi, I hope you're doing well today. Bum, 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 bum. You won't die, boys, so you gotta eat with that. Sure. What do you want to do? I'd like to save. I like to save. Saving's good. Saving. Feels good, man. Hi, hey, my friend the taco. How are you? I have three wisdom fruits. Because I am a smart woman, and I talked to the fairies, and they gave me three more to make up for the two that I used being really stubborn in the desert and not bringing water. So we're actually somewhat okay on that front. I will have some for the inevitable final boss fight. That's more than I expected. You doing all right? One day all your treats will be back in stock and you can spend your crystals. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you're doing all right. Thank you for the good luck. I'll always take luck being on our side. Got to wait for Spoon to get up the escalator. Aw, wait, this plant was asleep and waited for us to get up the escalator? That's interesting. And also still very nice. Wow. Unlock that door, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, that's really, that's the main reason why I'm going right now, Dragon Skulls. I do want to see what happens in the rest of the story. I actually quite enjoy the story of Breath of Fire 3. I wanted, I wanted to know. It seems like there's interesting things and there have been really interesting twists to the story. How far along in the game is this? Also, I, why can't we escape from a sleeping plan? <laughs> it's silly. Uh, we're quite far, may maybe near the end? I don't know, it's a blind playthrough. 
If you'd like more specific details, somebody could probably whisper you. But as far as I know, this is quite near the end. Oh, so, oh, so we help, we help the flower. Also, I do not want to fight a Goo King. That sounds just, that, no, that reminds me too much of Metal Slimes. I don't want to. Mm -mm. Nope, sounds dangerous. Not gonna poke it with a stick. The King of Go! He will run away from you! Or I'll run away from him. I figured you probably did, Tipo. <laughs> with that said, I actually do miss the character who you got your name from. I did, yeah, the Plant 42 reference. Okay, so I unlocked the door. <laughs> Always targeting the, the low HP. I don't know, is the Warmack the Final Fantasy equivalent? I'm gonna go with maybe Cactuar. Warmack doesn't really run away, and it's also way too rare. Observer! Thank you so much for resabbing for 21 months straight in 27 months total. Welcome back. Hi, how are you today? I mean, yeah, they are both made of metal. That's fair. But Wormack is so super rare to find. What? Oh, wisdom fruit. Uh, what was it like? One in three or four hundred something spawns in one specific area in Final Fantasy One will be a Wormack. I I literally ran around in circles for like two hours before I found a Wormack. Silver tiara. That sounds cute. I will have to wait until Nina's back in our party. chance of dropping their item. Oh, okay, FF2 US. I, I don't think I ever saw a blonde princess. Confusion. Pink pots? I actually have never played the USA version. I've only played the fan translation. <laughs> I have a Super Nintendo cart. Oh, Final Fantasy IV in the US, but I've never played it. Hi, Goo! <laughs> There's alarms in Final Fantasy XI like that. A destination. Eden. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's go! Excuse me? 
excuse me. I was trying to enjoy that smooth, groovy music. And you have interrupted me with Igo. Get out. I think that was a level one I go. I'm incredibly suspicious of this entire place. <gasps> no way! That's Tebow! Shut up! Shut up! Hold the phone! He is alive! his head on the ceiling. How did you get here? How did you get here? And why didn't you, like, write a letter or find me at all for, like, you know, however many years it's been since we were tiny children with the slime hair? Our characters thought you were dead. They can't tell that they're inside a room. And when they try to fly, they only end, hurt them, end up hurting themselves. I think that's what they meant. Do you understand, Spoon? I suppose I should have known you'd come here eventually. You are brood after all. Tipo! Also, uh, I'm now really, really thankful that I didn't go back for Nina. And I just said, screw it, let's move forward with uh, Ray and see and see if we get to a save point that's closer. <laughs> because this is a fitting reunion. Is it really you, Tebow? It is me, Spoon. Tebow, you're alive! I, I, I thought... Be silent. You must talk with Spoon. Welcome, Spoon. Did you just shush your childhood friend? Unfortunately, your journey ends here. I can answer all of your questions. And explain why our race had to be destroyed. Wait, you're also a dragon? You what? <laughs> Soon after we were separated, so many years ago, I learned that I too was of the brood. That explains why you live! That explains why you live through the fire! Because you're a dragon! Duh! Spoon? Spoon? Why? Why did they do this to us? You get a little Tipo dragon! Spoon! Spoon! Huh? What's happened to me? My body, it's... I'm no different from you, Spoon. Not since then. Much blood has been shed to reach this point. And that's why he didn't die to a single stab of a sword. The blood of strangers. Your own blood.
lot of both the good and the bad. Nothing but hardship awaits us wherever we go. Violence. Pain. Blood. That is the brood. That is what we are. The brood pose too great a danger to the world. Our power, our very existence threatens it. We cause war and chaos wherever we go. So, uh, Mr. Tipo? The goddess put it into your head to wait here? Wait here to kill Spoon, huh? No! She would never harm anyone, nor allow anyone to be harmed! Uncontrolled. Spoon. We're different from them. We can't be with them. That's why you need to stay here with me. With me and the goddess Miria. Uh, sweetie, I think you've been brainwashed. You did see the clones of dragons downstairs, right? What do you think, Spoon? This is your mind. Your heart given shape. Here. You can enter not only your own heart, but those of your so-called friends as well. And then you'll learn that I... That Holy Miria is right. Go now, Spoon. I don't trust this at all. Wait, what? There's random battles in my mind? <laughs> Why do- <laughs> Apparently our mind is full of vile weeds! <laughs> oh man, uh... Give us! 
<laughs> Whenever I decided to do something, my mother would always ask me. Is that what the Princess of Windia should do? I would always answer yes. back. There's nothing for you here. Okay. Power of the brood. Look at me. I have a power I was so frightened of. I swore I'd never use it, but compared to the power of the brood, my power is insignificant. Doesn't that just beat all? How can anyone handle that kind of power? If it were me, I know what I'd do with it. No, I know better. I wouldn't be able to handle that kind of power responsibly. I'm just no good. smell like In-N-Out Burger. Huh. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever had that experience. But a hamburger sounds pretty good. You feel unbridled strength coming from deep within you. Do you want to save? Yes. That sounds smart. Since it was a shortcut, I'm gonna save on the first. We're all alone out here. Oh, you. That's rude. What is this, Super Metroid now? Ah. I'm not even mad, I'm just disappointed. Ah. Who's, like, seriously, why is our mind like this? There's a few holes in our memory. <laughs> I'm now very glad that we geared up all of our characters though, or at least all of my main characters, because it turns out there's a solo section. This is how your mind looks. Well, mine looks a little bit different. <laughs> Bow down and pray before me. I will show you the path when your heart and mind are as one. OK. 
okay? What if I slash at you instead? Oh, there's three of them. Can I run away in my own mind? I can. I sure can. for that, right, Mr. Statue? Yeah, there's no way around that. Answer truthfully. Do you want what's in the box? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? I'm not a liar. If I had to pick just one RPG to be my favorite, which is it? Final Fantasy IX. Much sentimental value. Shaman's Ring! Thank you. over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's this game kind dude guy. There are cockroaches on a rooftop when you're a younger character. Do what your heart tells you. Okay. again because I got this sweet ring. Oh, you had this game on PS1 when it first came out, but this didn't look like what you remembered. Oh, yeah, this is quite a bit further into the game. Oh, I love Xenogears, Dante. That's probably my favorite game that I've played in the past year. Right up there with 7 Remake. version of Xeno Gears where the second disc was able to be fleshed out. But I'm still happy that they were able to give us the story of the second disc rather than it getting cut off as like half of a story and then the other half never getting made into anything you could enjoy whatsoever. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand this. 
side. Yeah, there's literally nowhere else to go. Not that I see anyway. Hmm. That's true! They did go in to make Xenosaga and Xenoblade. Which I haven't played any of, but I'm very much looking forward to playing Xenoblade on No message, just keep being you and bringing joy to the people. Aw, Jersh, thank you so much for the $23.88. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you so much. I'm just me, out here, trying to solve puzzles. <laughs> okay, so it's nothing like talking you backwards. Hmm. go back that way, you still can't reach that one. still okay yeah he says i'll show you the path when your heart and minder is one that other statue down there said follow your heart but see if i go either of these directions i just get thrown back down Oh, I've heard of the Trails games. I haven't played any of them, but I've heard good things about them. Oh, I love Suikoden 2, kind dude guy. I haven't played the first one, but I love Suikoden 2. If you ever decide to play the second one and you have both of them on the same console, you can actually transfer your save file. I think it's fairly minor things, like Easter eggs that you'd really only notice if you played the first game anyway, but it could be a fun little thing to have for yours. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that snowman. You were saying you're playing through the Xenoblade 2 DLC and all that stuff before the first one comes out. Yeah, I don't know what... Like, I don't get it.
Yeah, but I can't... I can't use dragon forms outside of combat, though. then yeah yeah the disc for so you get into is very expensive i played it digitally on my playstation tv Well, my heart tells me to step on spikes. Although this would be kind of a silly thing to have. Considering you fight random battles. Sure, what if I just die? What if I just die? I mean, I guess technically my heart and mind and body and soul and all that stuff would be one, right? Yeah! You can't stop me if I'm dead! Care. We were right there, so. Oh, honey, if you think this is losing it, you haven't really seen a whole lot of the spectrum of human emotion. <laughs> I legitimately thought that for a second, Glint. I was like, you know, what if they really did want you to be at like one health? The mayor is the best. Uh. 
I'll be safe inside my mind. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, fine. I don't care anymore. Hey, chat! How do I finish this puzzle that makes no sense? Talk to the statue and don't move. <laughs> okay, listen, that's stupid. How is this making your heart and body one? I'm sorry. Why? Why? How is this? Pr is he kneeling? Is he sitting? No! No! There's no action whatsoever! He just goes. Okay. My heart and mind become one! The statue's like, ah, uh, you can. You can go because you're scaring me, man. <laughs> go, my child. Let your steps take you where they will. Thanks. They will take me the fuck out of my mind. My father used to tell me lots of stories about the techno age. It was his life's dream to learn all he could about that time and all the machines that were built then. <laughs> exactly, Dante. I'm gonna literally go out of my mind. Yeah, the answer is silence. The answer is just stand there. The answer is stand at the waterfall for three minutes for no reason other than to drive you insane. <laughs> the answer is a speedrunner's chance to go potty. Father, I'm almost there. It's right in front of me. Also, I'd like to point out if if you think that this game has broken me, if you think that I wasn't already broken entirely as a human being, could I kind you kindly direct you to like any of a large number of clips proving that I have no sanity and it was not in fact this game that drove it out of me whatsoever. You had to go back on oh, my playlist to know if you could reference Earth. <laughs> no, no, no. Also, I mean an Earthbound. Earthbound the waterfall is pee break for speedrunners, Glenn, because it takes three minutes. So it's like you might as well go to the bathroom. But yeah, there's like Belmo. There's me singing poopy bot bards. There's that time that I put dancing Bob from Animal Crossing gifts across the entire stream while screaming you're not Bob repeatedly at villagers and making up a metal death song about how Bob needs to come to our village. I'd, I'm sorry, but like, if you think this is the place where I broke my sanity, you need to go back like a long, long ways. <laughs> It never was. The sanity never existed. It's just been gone forever. It will never return. <laughs> For every time that I've drawn Flowey in a game and once again scared all of chat. Bob. Yeah. Bob! 
Come to my village! Come to my village! Poopy butt farts. A Christopher, thank you for the 808 Bob bits. Appreciate that. Poopy butt farts. You missed most of Bob's stream. You literally went back to the VOD to get the full experience. Also, sorry, my back is itching, so I'm like, ah, stop that. My body and mind are not one! <laughs> so, uh, is what you're saying I should highlight that entire VOD so it never disappears? <laughs> I actually did highlight the whole first weekend that we played Animal Crossing, by the way. So, my initial reactions to New Horizons are saved forever. The Bruce God? I don't know anything about them. The fate of the world is too big for me. All I know is, by getting closer to God, I'm getting closer to that age. The age of machines. Who is this a portal out of my mind, please? looking for a literal deus ex machina. <laughs> Whoa, okay, suddenly our mind looks a lot different. This is a little scary. Our mind is kind of scary, guys. Wait, moon? When did the moon become involved in this goal, Wink? This isn't Final Fantasy IV. We're not going to the moon with a whale. Yellow. Oh god, it's one of these. Oh no. This is fine. This is fine. We had too much rock candy. We had a little too much rock candy, and... Uh... This is what happens when you have too much rock candy. Hi, Gar. Uh, when you eat too much rock candy, your mind becomes... a uh, Scary red rainbow glacier with... Gar in it. I believe that by hunting the brood, by obeying God, I was saving the world. But now I wonder, was I? If they had wanted to, the brood could have stopped us at any time. What should I have done? See, okay, here's the thing. Tipo's like, uh, yeah, you can look inside your mind and thus you can look inside the mind of your so-called friends, but really all we're seeing is their doubts. And someone's doubts don't make up their entire being. You can have a doubt about a thing and still decide to do the right thing, inevitably. Like, would... this is bullshit, Tipo. You're being lied to. You are being lied to by a goddess who doesn't care about anything other than using you to make clones of dragons so that she can have the power of the brood all to herself and then kill everyone who opposes her, okay? I'm calling it right now. That's literally what's happening here. And now you're trying to brainwash us because she brainwashed you and uh, now we still have more dragons, okay? But no, it's not happening. I refuse. You can get out. You get out of here with green. 
I've been watching you for a long time. Oh my God. By the way, Spoon Lowercase has a voice. Spoon. Oh, you? You need to do what you and only you think is right. The power of the brood is something to be respected and feared. But it's not enough to save or destroy the world. Have you come to a decision? You're one of the brood. You can't afford to think only of yourself. Like the others, right? Think of what you could do with your power. Think of your people, those who gave you this power. If you have the power to change the world, you have to take responsibility for the world, don't you? There's only one person who can take that kind of responsibility. Oh yeah, who is it? Me? Oh, the goddess Mary! Oh, gosh, how convenient! Oh, gosh, 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 golly gee, gosh. Golly gee gosh, chat. Oh, conveniently. Mm, conveniently, our mind souls are telling us the only person who could possibly deal with all this responsibility. Oh, is the goddess Miria. Oh, goddess Miria, you're such a big, helpful adult. Could you take my magic powers that are so strong, I don't know what to do with them? Oh, could you use them to do whatever you want and you think is best for the world? Thanks so much, Goddess Miriam, because I obviously don't have the faculties to take care of myself, even though all the people of the brood gave me this power, and you know, you'd figure that I should be the one to fucking figure it out. <laughs> Rise. Rise and give yourself to the goddess. Become one with the world. Nah. I uh, I can't. I can't. I actually can't. Uh, I have to return some videotapes, and you know, there's there's late fees. Like, I can't just meld with the universe and acquire thousands upon thousands of years of late fees. You know what that's going to end up being? You know what that's going to cost me? We can't bankrupt the universe self, all right? I got to go return some videotapes. Just... <laughs> Who are you? That's right. Not me. Anyway, Tipu, I guess it's great that you're crazy and all, but, uh, I gotta, I, I gotta get out of there. Well, well, well. You count your Drusilla among your companions. Oh, that suddenly makes a lot more sense. Paco's the scene of Young Drusel, and Young Drusel's really smart. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Also, I'm suddenly feeling that uh, Tipo is actually already dead and you're full of shit. And I'm gonna be really upset if that's true. Remember though, this is a blind playthrough, so popcorn only.
That's a surprise. Still... You understand, don't you, Spoon? We share the same blood. I know you. You must understand. All the others? They're weak and frail! They think only of themselves! What if our power were to be used by them? For their small, selfish ends! We can only entrust our power to someone who understands. Someone who sees and thinks of the world as a whole. Someone like Miria Spoon. If that's your choice then, you won't listen to me. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. I'm sorry, Spoon. But I have no choice but to leave you here in this dream. But you don't want to fight me. not nearly as good as I was hoping. Can I? No. Are you actually undead? You are! actually work on enemies. Which is really um honor. This hitting is pretty heckin' hard though.
tried that, Glenn. It's fine. He's dead anyway. Yay! We leveled. Yeah, that was the first thing I tried was resurrection. <laughs> So, Spoon, you've come back. Why did you fight it? All that would have happened is that you would have lost the power of the brood. You wouldn't have had to die. If you won't give up your power, if you won't submit to the wisdom of Miria, I have no choice. No choice but to kill you. Of course. Choose who will fight against Tipo. Okay. Yeah, I like the detail of, of Ryu shaking there. Um. Use defense. Why does Tipo get to be a really fancy dragon? D Lord! We don't get our AP back. considering he's got higher speed than everyone else.
the amount of damage he's dealing to us.
heal that. Trying to get some damage in. Sure, let's use some napalm on him. <laughs> I bet that'll work out well. Assassin, to be honest. I mean, Momo has that scan ability, but yeah, Mind Sword doesn't do fiddly squat. Sixty-one, yay! That was so worth it. Just a regular hit, do. Good, yes, hit bar. changing the color of my clothes. Wish I could do that more often. No, not. I'm like, dude, am I ever gonna... curious if this will work. Oh, 
doing okay. How are you guys? Very much engaged in uh, fighting Kipo the giant dragon. Well, uh, not gonna lie, I did not really expect to uh, have to fight. A little sad about it. Wish he would be my friend instead. Okay, good. Thank you for finally not targeting Nina with that. Thank you. Exactly what we're gonna do. Fine! 
Thank you for not hitting Nina. Oh boy. That's less good. Okay. Star is the one who got confused, right? This is, uh, this will be fine. Star, you're definitely gonna hit Tifo, right? Yeah! You did. Thanks, buddy. That's really rad of you.
awake, everybody! Lucky. to be upset. some of the lost damage from heals. hits us any harder than the spell. Because he's Gar. 
I think he was. I don't think he was taking more than 20 damage a hit. Okay, no, he has taken a bit more than that. It still evens out to be about the same amount of damage. Did, we would have gotten one by now. Before Gar, you know what to do.
eventually we'll get to the end of his health pool. Eventually. Oh goodness. Oh boy. On vitamins. Hi, Chub. How are you today? It's just me. Never heard of this game, but it looks really cool. Oh, the fire three is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, the D definitely stands for douche. <laughs> I was gonna go for the D stands for douche. Dargan. You can't stock up on multivitamins, though. Those are unviable. Come <laughs> on. 
Confusion. You know what to do, Gar. 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 Kill this guy. You've been here before. You've been to Confusion Town. You know how it works. Rizal. Yes! Get him! Right, Ollie. Exactly my sentiments, Ollie. It's suit observation. Oh no, you're fine, Saint Daniel. No worries, man. You didn't mean any harm. This is a silly adventure I've brought myself on, isn't it? the dragon get dunked on <laughs> i don't need party members i brought the, the sack of vitamins <laughs> that's number 301 you defeated a powerful enemy. Good, good. Gar is finally catching up in level. We got a dragon blade and dragon armor. I brought my dad, Tipo. What did you bring? <laughs> my dad's gonna beat you up, you meanie pants. Apparently, this is just going going to be how I've approached the entire game, Dragon Skull. It's just nonsense. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Stuff. 
You found Soul Gem. It says card key A. It looks important. Exactly, Ollie. Back it up. Back it on up. Tifu is the origami king. Oh no! I'm not supposed to play that game yet! That is supposed to be on my birthday! Oh my god, um... Yeah, I'd like to save... Hey chat! Where's the nearest save point? See, I'd be fine if there were level one goose all the way back to the save point, but I somehow feel like that's not the case. You found force armor. That's cool. I already have that equipped. Okay. I don't... Well, we came here from an elevator. If I recall correctly. You know what would be fun? Having you do a series of back-to-back -back boss fights and then having to walk through many, 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 many screens to get back to a safe point. So if you die horribly to some very cruel monsters that exist in this dungeon, you have to do the boss fights all over again. Dr. Simo, I'm less annoyed and more just full of anxiety because that boss fight was actually, uh, it took, it took a long time. Oh boy. 
Okay. Well, uh, I guess fire heals Spoon now, so that's cool. At least fire heals one of us. Okay. Yeah, it's it's stuff like this that really, really makes me happy that modern games have things like autosaves. Dr. Themo, and you're definitely not the only person who's quit over a difficult boss fight and like dying after completing the difficult boss fight and then having to redo the whole thing. I imagine there are many, many JRPG fans who have felt that very experience to their core. It's still nighttime for me. We have a good whatever your time zone is. Also neat. I don't remember how to get back now. That is completely understandable, Barry. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Please. Thank you. My goodness. Luckily, we don't have to come back to this particular section. Luckily, the place we're going after this is actually right next to the save point. So I don't know what to do because it's... Well, 36. At least we get this. And that helps. Oh, you go to the final boss of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, messed up right at the end and decided to watch the ending. Because it took you four tries and like two hours in total. I'm sorry, Barry. I don't blame you at all. There's just... There's just some things that are... Like once, once they happen, once they happen, it's just, they've already happened. And it's too late. to me in Pokemon. Okay, we want to go this way. Whew! Okay, luckily, the range that Drakes could spawn, I think, was pretty small here. not dying oh my uh you know i like to change party members
my video game. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, you are full AP. Can we get some Fs to the chat for Mighty Matt? With that honorable Sudoku. Oh yeah, I would like one save, please. Yeah, that was over an hour of not save. <laughs> okay, well, that's a relief. Hmm. I am very torn right now. longer it will take me to beat the game but I feel like it is going to take me too long to beat it right now because it is 12 40 a.m. I'm torn. I'm also torn because I really dislike breaking up end game segments because I find that if I if I happen to like play two sections of an end game, then it kind of loses part of the impact. is singing the song of his people, aren't you, buddy? Are you having a good day? boss fight is going to take us when we inevitably get there. I just don't know. And although I hope there is more than literally just the final boss fight, um, I literally like left just fighting the last boss and it really broke it up weird. Yo, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait for Chop to look it up. Is there a reason why you're typing curse words in all caps at myself and the rest of the community gets? That seems a little rude. Oh, Barry knows a lot about the game and saved you the trouble. <laughs> yeah, I did finish Final Fantasy 7R. The boss are still there, Zimli. The boss are definitely there. I'm also going to be highlighting that whole playthrough. Oh, I love Avatar The Last Airbender, Dr. Fimo. I would recommend it. Yeah, just, just trop, just trop. 
Only chop answer, please. Also, thank you, Barry. <laughs> and I know there are lots of other folks that know a lot about this game, but I know that Chop will probably know better about like when I usually like to stop playing video games and save them for next time. <laughs> One area in the final boss left. Is this an area that's like five minutes or is this an area that's like gonna take me a little while? Get any other equipment for these guys, did I? like to just finish the game tonight it might be better it might be better for me to save it for tomorrow because it's already almost one o'clock in the morning <laughs> so if it took me exactly two hours we would be done at three o'clock in the morning almost and i just don't think that i can really dedicate that much time to it right now so i, I apologize that we're having to break up the end of the game here because like i said i really don't like doing that if i can help it but i think it would be better to take a rest and come back to it tomorrow 